What's going on, people? Today, it's Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee. As you can plainly see, there are cars everywhere, and there's a shadow on my face. Look, there it is. Uh, some nice stuff. We're gonna walk through uh, with you guys, with my fine friends on the web, and, uh, and see what there is. Uh, I am Fireball Tim Lawrence, and you are watching this on my Facebook fan page. I appreciate you guys hanging out and uh, seeing some beautiful sculpture today. There's Timmy McDougall's Corvette. So, uh, what's up, Ellen? Uh, we're at Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee. Let's uh, take a look around and see see what's up. Let me flip you guys around, show you guys what's going on. Starting out with a Ford Bronco. Very nice. Everybody loves Mopar. Don't they? It's about time. Tell me, tell me about the car. 68 Dodge Coronet. Mm -hmm. uh, 440 with fuel injection. Very nice. Yeah. And how long have you had it? Uh, about five, six years now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Beautiful as always. Yeah. Something to see here at Caneo Valley. He's even got our magazine on the seat. What else we got? A little bit of vintage antique action. 1930. Beautiful. A lot of people here today. Poking around. Of course, uh, this is where the donuts are, so everybody hangs out here. There's a nice uh, gull wing. Very cool. Val, what's going on? Brad, what's going on? Good to see you guys. Yeah, it's a big ass car right there. Oh, check out the outfit. Hearts everywhere. Look at that outfit. That is cool. Good morning. You're 14. Uh-oh, trouble starts. <laughs> There's some military Jeeps. That's pretty cool. Marco Edgar, what's going on, gentlemen? Got to make sure I don't shoot into the sun and blow my eyeballs out. Here comes a Mini. I really like this Pantera. This is a quite a amazing color. An unusual color for this car. You're way out of your element. I am. Look at this. This man right here is nuts. He drives that every day, all day. That's awesome. Hey, buddy, can I come up? Some Corvair stuff. Look at that. That's all original. With Cor a Corbo seat. Oh, two of them. What do we got going on back here? All right. Pretty standard operation. Next to a Tesla. Black Camaro. This is probably the hit of the show today. This is a, a looks like a Plymouth Gasser. Excuse me. Yep. You mind? This is Billy. Come here, come here, Billy. Everybody. A little fireball. What do you got going on in your world right now? Nothing. Good. That's great. Enjoying life. <laughs> Hanging with fireball. No uh, more movies. I figured that you would be hanging out next to the gasser. 
I would figure that this this would be this your This is thing. My, my era, man. Yeah, you don't have any movies going on right now? None. Okay. We're done. We're done as in like retired? In retired. Okay, good, good. Yeah. You still want our trailer? Yes. You're on camera. <laughs> Okay, we're hanging out. Uh, Billy's uh, pretty amazing. He he uh, provided all the cars for um, Ford versus Ferrari, the movie. Very nice guy. Let's take a look at this uh, Cougar over here. I think I showed you guys this last time. Yeah, that's a beauty. What's up, Lawrence? Good to see you, bud. Glad to see people are online enjoying car shows. Here's uh, one of our docents, Ethan. Driving his Herbie. What's going on, Ethan? We're live today. What are you doing? Oh, uh, we're just here at the Cars and Coffee Road. The Cars and Coffee, uh, it's about, you know, just having a great time and just Herbie saying hi to everyone and it's already bringing people to uh, say hi to him, you know? Yep. All right. Can you open the door? Can I take a look inside? This is what it's like to drive Herbie, guys. Behind the wheel. There you go. All right. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> okay. There's a nice van here. Shell, mobile, exit. Yeah. On his way out. Morning. There he is. What's up? That's right. Corvettes. Oh, I missed that. Right there. This car is so big, you could put all the other cars in its trunk. That's an amazing Grand Prix. 421. Look at that. Wow. Yep. Always loved the big ones. That's right. Lawrence, sexy is as sexy does. Wait, I already went down here. Let's go. Let's go down the other one. Yeah, there's a couple of jeeps over there. Look pretty good. Let's go check those out. So tomorrow I'll be down in Huntington Beach for cars and copters. We'll have a. Uh, I got a booth down there. We'll have a McLaren 720 down there. And it's going to be filled with helicopters and cool cars. We'll be doing a live from there as well. Here's a nice uh, Corvair pickup next to a Ford. Yeah. That looks all original. Very nice. Looks like a 58 vet. Sorry? I guess if you got a 58, you can park it crooked, right? You can do whatever you want. That's pretty sweet. Super nice. Now, I've seen a lot of these before. We're actually looking for stuff that's that's new that we haven't really seen too much of before. A lot of these guys, guys come back to this show quite often, so I'm looking for something to show you guys that's a little bit different, and I'm making my way towards a couple of cars that I think you'll like. Oh, who's the doggy? Good morning. The, the show's over here, buddy. You're going to show your best end? Right. <laughs> That's right. I've seen that end before. Look at that tail go. That's got a lot of horsepower in it. Okay. Okay. 
Hey, there you go. I got gotcha. you. Yep. What's that fuzzy thing right there? <laughs> Very cute. Yep. So here's a, uh, a sob. This is something you don't see every day. This is pretty unique. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Unusual, T-Bird. But uh, I have a, uh, an episode of This Is My Ride coming for you guys on Monday. And it's this car right here. Right there. So I'm not going to show you too much of that. You can watch the episode when it airs on Monday. It's pretty nice. It has a really unique story. It's been in the family for over 50 years. Oh, look at that. There's a uh, Herbie's brother right over there. Long lost illegitimate brother. Oh, there's a caddy at the very end. I, I may have to just go down and see that. Just because, as you guys know, I like the big cars and a lot of other things. It's a problem, I know. Um, if, you're, if you're trying to decide what kind of car that you wanna get for yourself, what kind of classic or custom, um, best way to start is to collect some Hot Wheels, right? If you're, if you're not sure what kind of car that you wanna get, yes. buy some Hot Wheels and then, and then hold on for a while and the ones that remain is probably the one you're gonna buy full size. Yes. Yeah. Or you make the car look like it. Yeah, right? I, I just made that shit up, so I don't know. If it's true. <laughs> it sounds kind of logical, <laughs> right? You're a beauty. <laughs> Let's go look at this caddy. Look at this. Uh huh. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Could be a '68, maybe. Any uh, caddy experts out there? It looks like a '68. What do you think? 70 maybe because of the uh, number on the dashboard. Ah, it's probably a 70. Because it says so. Look at those cush seats. Uh-huh. You just want to do all kinds of bad things in those seats, especially back there. Well, good bad things, as they say. And it's parked right next to an AMC, which is pretty nice, too. I guess he forgot he was at a Cars and Coffee, so he parked it normally. Here comes that, uh, that 58 rolling through. It's okay to hit the photographers. Very nice. So what do you guys think? What do you think is best of show here today? Leave a comment down in the uh, comment section. Let me know what you think. And then it'll help me to determine whether I do a, an episode of it or not. Oh, that's an El Camino. I didn't realize that. Yep. I think Chevy needs to do another El Camino. Let's go we'll say hi to Craig Casey, the gentleman that puts the show on. A lot of glistening metal. Now, many of you, or some of you, went to uh, out into the Mojave to the Gene Winfield show. Uh, Gene is a good friend, and he has his show happening out at his shop, and I would have gone to it, but uh, the idea of doing that and then going to Huntington Beach for Carson Copters all day tomorrow is uh, rather daunting. So I decided not to go there. Guy's talking to himself. He's actually on the phone. But nowadays, you can talk to yourself, and you're not crazy. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. So, uh, I did not go out to Jeans. I wish I had done that, but uh, I committed to this Cars and Copters event. It's happening tomorrow, and it's going to be a pretty good show. I think there's going to be about maybe 1,500 cars, and probably about 20 helicopters, which are flying in today. Billy. So uh, let's take a look at what else we got up here. This is what I'm driving right now. This is the uh, 2021 Lexus 350 
RF Sport, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Too many freaking letters and numbers. <laughs> Just give it a name like uh, some of these other cars, and I'd be fine. Anyway, that's what I'm driving today, this week. Pretty sweet. If you're in the market for a Lexus, this might fit you. Let's go over and see if there's any donuts left. Chances are they're all gone. Oh, there's muffins and oh God, there's tons. And there's a cake because there's a birthday going on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everything a young man needs right there. You could do a whole show on this. You could do a show on this. Uh, hold on a second. Let me flip this around. Come here, you. What's going on? Do you guys remember we did an episode last week of this young man? Uh, your truck's still running. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm a lot more famous now, you thanks to you. Appreciate that. Yeah, sure. So people are shopping you on the street everywhere, right? Yeah, all the time. They yeah. just stop me. You, you know? went to Disneyland, and people were just mobbing you. They just won't let me even ride, drive it. <laughs> Well, Someone, I'm glad I did my job. I right, awesome. like you. All the pumpkin patches want me now. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Okay, let's go say hi to Craig. Look, look at all these schmoes just hanging out, doing nothing. I don't know. Did we meet in the Mullen? I'm Fireball. Greg, nice to meet you. What'd you drive today? Ah, very nice. Yeah, practical. Very nice. That's rocket, man. That's rocket. Yeah, did he park it over the uh, in the in the cool lot? Okay. All right. Where's Craig? I gotta find Craig. Go give him a hard time. There he is. All right. It's somebody's birthday today. So, uh, hey, Craig. Come here, buddy. Uh, this is Craig Casey, uh, Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee. Whose birthday is it today? It's Coney Clintier, 60, 60th uh, birthday. Six years old, and yes. he gets a birthday cake. Yes. yes. Do we all get birthday cakes at 60? We, well, we'll see. If, you, if you're if you 60 and it happens to fall on a Saturday at Cars and Coffee, you will, right? Can I just cheat and just pretend? Yes. Yeah, okay, tomorrow's my we'll birthday. We'll let you slide. Then you can have a piece of cake with that cake. <laughs> this one. <laughs> How old are you? Too old. Old, Young. old enough to know better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Not to reveal. And uh, and you have someone tagging along with you today. Yep. Who's right the here? The next generation. Uh huh. That's Julia. And, and Julia is now fourteen. Yes. When did that happen? Yeah. Yeah, it's not camera your fault, shot. right? Yeah, camera shy. It's not her fault. She's behind the scenes too. Yeah, yeah. So, and how old's your other daughter? Eleven. Eleven and fourteen, man. Yes. You, you got I it know. going on, man. Why do you think I come out here? Yeah, yeah. For the sanity. Fun. Yeah. This craziness is actually sanity. Yeah, it's easy. Exactly. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> two, only two girls? Two girls. Yeah. And well, my wife, too. Yeah, so. my, my power goes out to you. There's one. <laughs> oh, there they are. There they are. Okay, there's three of them. The next generation <laughs> yeah. of cars All right. and coffee. Okay, your favorite car. Yeah. Your favorite uh, car. Probably the Ferrari. Of course it is. Um, dude, you got a college and Ferraris for this one. Or, Trouble. Or the Cobra. Or, or the silver, Cobra. See the silver yeah. spoon right there? Yeah. You don't want a, like a cheap little Datsun or something? Nah. Yeah. Ferrari. Nah. Okay. And what do you want? A phone. A phone? <laughs> <laughs> she wants a phone. I'll take this one. For her Can I have this? For her 14th birthday. <laughs> she wants a phone. Yeah, man. You're in trouble. You're in Billy, trouble. Billy took her out in the, one of the four GTs. Right. And ran her on the block, and the smile has still not yeah. come off. Yeah, you're stuck now. She, that was Look her that. aha See? moment. Yep. She doesn't want to ride in the holes anymore. Yeah. No, you're gonna have to either Billy's walk home or, or wrangle one of these. Ferraris. I know the friends who I bring in the car, they're always like, "Oh my God, this is so crazy." I'm like, "Really?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trouble. Trouble. Well, a Ferrari and a phone. Not bad. Not one's bad. Not, one's good. One's not so good. Yeah. Yeah. But you decide. I'll decide. I'm gonna get a piece of cake. All right. <laughs> Huh? How's Tony doing? That's uh, Tony's doing good. Good. You're the uh, the Corvair uh, mechanic. the Corvair mechanic. Yeah, I retired. Uh, you're, you're no longer working on Corvairs. Uh -huh. Okay. Good for you. Just Stand around eating, donuts. eating donuts and going to a car show. Yeah. Good I'll for you, my, man. Drive my eight door van. I had to retire to fit in. I thought that was yours. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yep. All right. Well, enjoy the donut. Yep. Good to see, see you ya. later. Okay. Howdy. 
George, how are you? You guys remember George from uh, a couple episodes back? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Uh, my, my Magna. Hold on, we got a, we got a car coming here. We got to move out of the way. My, my MG Magna. That's right, your MG. So check out that episode. How you doing? That's my Packard over there. Ah, oh, so that's it, your Packard. It's all, it's all original. It's only got 6,800 original miles. That's it? Yeah, take a look at the Let's go take a look. This is a Packard with 6,800 original miles. How is that even possible? that this could have such little miles. It was in a museum in California for 30 years, and then somebody in Florida bought it and had it, and then uh, changed it from, uh, 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 change the voltage from four to six, uh, 12, and screwed it up. And I, I bought it a, a few months ago from a guy in Florida. So, wow. So Let's take a look inside. God, it's like brand new. Yeah. Look at that. Wow, that is absolutely stunning. It's a brand new Packard. There's no dirt anywhere. Holy cow. Now, you guys can't really appreciate the softness of this, but that's not a fabric you feel in cars nowadays. Wow. Flawless. Can I see the trunk? Can you open the trunk? Yeah, but it's about six weeks. There's no bodies back there, is there? 21. The mother in law. There we go. Yeah. And this is all original? Yeah. This is all original. And what year's the car again? 1949. Wow. Wow, neat stuff. Great job, George. I mean, I feel it. Great, great score. All right. Can we uh, see the, the uh, motor? Okay. Let's check out the motor on this brand new Packard. Yeah, that's a beauty. Yeah, that is totally right, Joe, a time capsule. It's very rare that you uh, see a car like this. Unbelievable. I just got, I thought I almost got goosed by the doggies. But they were going for each other instead. Ah. He's looking for the latch. How long have you had the car? About four months, so you still gotta find the latch. There you go. Ah. Okay, we're gonna work on this live. Seems seems locked down here on this side. From one side? <laughs> That's okay. I'll come back. Okay, we're gonna give him a chance to open that up. We're gonna take a look at this this cake here. Yeah. I don't think there's enough candles on there. Nope. Yeah, definitely not. But they're really big candles. Yeah, that's so it helps. There's the uh, issue that we put with Magnus in it on drive. You guys can still pick that up. Oh, there it is. The hood's up. There we go. Look at that. A brand new Packard motor. 1949. 49. Wow. Straight eight. That's incredible. It is it is is clean beyond belief. Look at that. Wow. We got a new alternator. But I uh, I converted it from six volt to twelve volt. Yeah. Because uh, I wanted to start up where I wanted. Yeah. Right. Right. Way to go. Good score. Thank you for showing me, George. Okay. All right, good stuff. So uh, there's a boat over here I can show you guys. And this is Billy's car. This is actually one of the cars I think that they had in Ford versus Ferrari. Uh, it kind of looks like something out of THX 1138. If you guys remember that, George Lucas's first film. That's pretty amazing.
Yeah, Billy's got a lot of these. Look at this motor. That's nuts. Later, Gilman. That's Steve Gelman. He's heading out. Matthew, what's going on? Thanks for watching. We are at the Canal Valley Cars and Coffee with some serious horsepower going on here. Amazing stuff. But I'm going to let you guys go and wrap it up. I still got a bunch of things to shoot, take pictures of. Expect some neat episodes this week. But also tomorrow I'm heading down to Huntington Beach for cars and copters. So if you live in Huntington Beach or in the OC, come by and visit. It's across the street from uh, the Hyatt Regency, right on the water. Right next to the water, there's a big parking lot there. So we'll be there with tons of cars. We're bringing in a brand new McLaren 720. i uh, letting you guys know about Halos and Heroes, which is our new foundation. And, uh, and we'll see you guys this week. Have a spectacular, spectacular rest of the day. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.